Sure, yeah, pleased. Um, you know, it's um, highly unlikely you come to place like this and dominate the ball. So, therefore, a big part of the game is what you're doing without it. And I thought we were excellent. I thought the the, the, the tactical understanding of the players and the delivery of it, you know, they understand tactics, of course they do, but it's delivering it. And I thought the focus and the attention to detail, the, you know, the, the consistency within a performance, which I've spoken about endlessly, was on show today, you know, to keep doing all the ugly stuff, the hard yards, the hard work and work as a team to make sure that we looked after ourselves and uh, and I thought we did that very well today. How satisfying was it to see that resilience from last time away from home was Old Trafford's very different story that couldn't have been any yeah, different I, I don't think we were miles off Old Trafford. Obviously people people said that you know I was mad saying that, but you can't legislate for three complete errors. It's very difficult to legislate from that. I don't think during open play there was that much wrong defensively. Um, but back to the day, the, the commitment from the players, the teamship of the players was certainly on show. Um, you know, you've even got wide players who it's not natural to them to do that. You know, Illy working super hard in front of uh, Miko, who was, who was excellent, and Youngie on that side with Jack working hard. You know, we know he, Jack's got quality and he didn't quite find their moments, but he's worked so diligently. Yes, we comes on doing the same shift. You know, this is, this is good habits from a team, a group of players, and we're getting players back fit. The feeling in, in the camp is strong again. Um, we've got to keep doing that, of course. Um, it's six clean sheets, not easy in the Premier League. And even when Arsenal did have chances, you put Jordan Pickford goal in yeah, I mean, I haven't seen all the, 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 the saves, but the, the one to the left early in the second, that looks a big save to me. I haven't seen the other ones. I think he'd probably think he should make the other ones, but that one's a big save, I think. Um, a great reaction save. But he's got a lot of people in front of him there working very hard today, I think, and I'm sure he respects that. Um, just some white this with the injury. Is that a new injury? No, it's a flare up of the one previous, yeah, so we're hopeful it settles down again um, quickly. Um, we'll have to wait and see this week. And just on, on this one at the moment, obviously, the you know, Liverpool game was called off, but. Much was made of the daunting December. You've had a brilliant start to it. Well, I, I, like I said, it, I wasn't being flippant about it. I've been in it long enough in the Premier League. You've got to play everyone, and, and there will be another manager asked about it. You know, I was asked, I said, Pep would be looking at his run, and then people somehow thought I was putting myself in his category. I wasn't. I was just merely saying, as a manager, he'll still be looking at his run. They'll be looking, you know, all the press will be going, oh, look, they've got a tricky one coming up. That's the way it is, you know, it's, it's football management, it's in the Premier League, arguably the best league in the world, so you're going to have spells when it's awkward and it's tough, it's how you deal with it, and we've certainly dealt with one today really well, I think, by the attitude towards it, doesn't guarantee the next one, but we had to take this on with the right frame of mind, body language, intent and desire, and we certainly did that. Shalane, Sorry? You have to sacrifice the attacking up for today. Yeah, you often do at grounds like this, you know, it's... Like I said at the beginning, it's very unlikely that you're going to come and dominate the ball. And it's very unlikely, statistically, you're going to dominate the chances. And so, therefore, you've got to do all the, the, the tactical side really, really well. These can operate in different ways. This year, the prowess from the set pieces, not only their general play. You know, you've got to deal with that. And, and I thought the players did, gave a great um, performance day in that respect. You know, working hard without the ball is still a skill. It's not... It's not something that's just a given. You know, the, the tactical ideas of the team, the way that the coaches have worked this week diligently to make sure everyone knows their jobs. But then inevitably it comes down to the delivery. And they've delivered it very, very well today. Yeah, he delays on it. I mean, it's a great breakaway. We only found two or three really good quality moments when we, when we got into the right area. We know that's been a challenge, an ongoing challenge. If he strikes it earlier, you never know. But we're not going to be too greedy today. It's hard to come to these places and, and, and deliver both ends of the pitch, you know, defensively strong and in attack. We certainly got the defensive side and the tactical side right today. There's one other there, is there? I should. Uh, a lot longer than managers usually get to prepare for a game for this one. Was there anything particularly identified about Arsenal that you thought you could get? Or... No, I mean, you know, we've known him under this manager a few seasons. Uh, obviously, the tactical, uh, sorry, the, the set piece thing has been a lot of noise about that. We know you've got to be diligent to that. Um, but no, I think we look at our side, you know, we look at what we can do. Of course, we make the players aware of, of the opposition, but often it's our delivery of performance. So I'm pleased with that, you know, and, and we simplified it for the players. We didn't start over egging loads and loads of detail. The basics, you know, the shape of the side, the, the pressing shape to recover and then and then move as a unit. And I thought... It sounds really simple. It's not simple when you're out there and you've got a team trying to pick that to bits, but I thought their diligence today was excellent. Yeah. So, uh, Sean, you mentioned the set pieces. It's, it's a big issue at this club because it's an unusual thing for Arsenal. They've, they've been vulnerable set pieces in the past. Did, did, you, you've got big centre-halves and, and some big ads in the team. Did you go through them bit by bit or was it...? No, no, no. We, uh, the staff do that. I don't do it. I made it clear. 
Um, um, Wony and Stoney, my, my assistants, if you like, they do it with the analytics team. They do a really good job. Um, they certainly make players aware of different things. They were very, they, their start 11 today was miles bigger than ours physically. It was a big start 11, though, you know, which Arsenal can mix and match because they've got lots of good players, of course, and a deep squad. Um, but yeah, I was pleased with that side of things defensively. Um, the whole thing, really, defensively. Jordan made a couple of saves, one big one, but you, you think down here you're probably going to have a keeper who makes saves. So, yeah, I mean, it was just the, the diligence from the staff, but mainly from the players, you know. Lots of staffs are diligent, you know, all over the country. We all have analytics, although it makes a story that this new manager's got all these things. Everyone's got all these things. The players deserve credit because when they get out there, they've got to deliver on the knowledge that they've been given on any given um, Saturday, and today we delivered that really well. Are Wony and Stoney your set these specialists? No, they're not set specialists and all that. I'm not, I'm not, you know, they've had thousands of games in, um, in what they do. They've both got all the licences. I would expect they certainly know how to sort us that piece out, I would imagine, um, as I do myself, but I leave it to them. Yeah. Sure, when you play Arsenal, you know a lot of attacks will come down that right side. Not many teams get all the guard and sack up so quiet. What do you think is the key to that? Yeah, again, the diligence of the players. Um, we, we, we show heat maps, like everyone does, about what different attacking units, you know, and where we have to make sure that we're working hard. Um, Duke was, I thought, was exceptional today with his work ethic for the team. I thought the three in midfield were actually the way they worked. Um, Manga as well, putting in shift, and obviously um, Ganner with his understanding. You know, he's a, he's a wily old fox. Ganner, he knows the script. He's played at lots of different clubs, and you know, had real experience. But yeah, we we didn't just look at that area. I said before the game, I was talking about set piece. I said they've still got you know some fantastic players, and they can change at will, and they can change things tactically in different ways of playing in different formats, and they've showed that even more so this year with the strength in set pieces. So, you know, I'm pleased for the players and the, and the way that we went about it. Um, but it wasn't just one thing. You know, there was a lots of different things they can hurt you in other ways. But the way that we formatted it, I was really pleased with that as a staff. But the players' delivery is the, the biggest credit. Any further questions? No? Okay, Thanks, everyone.